Hey, and welcome to Actual Play, Traveler Moons of Leviathan. My spacey sounds. Uh, I'm Sean. I use he, him pronouns. You can find me everywhere at Sean Nittner. Um, I am playing Alexandros, Alexi, Lex, Lex the Lawless. Uh, Alex was a... Uh, was a, uh, a commander in the military during the big civil war. And then when it finally ended and we reclaimed our homeland of Ithaca, our, our ancestral space station, he was the steward. And that lasted a hot second until he got himself exiled by his very own brother for, uh, for causing trouble, uh, he was trying to help him, but didn't quite work out. So uh, he was sent on a ship to take Nestor, the man who dueled his brother as well, uh, to a space monastery to convalesce uh and he was given his own ship which, which was his and sent with all the other exiled knights uh, and uh you know that seemed you know like maybe we could turn things around maybe in our year of exile we could prove ourselves worthy uh but then very quickly uh nestor's sister uh persia uh mutiny took over the ship and now i'm locked up in the brig so exciting times um we got my friends with me. Uh, kept one guy from getting killed, airlocked. That was good. I'm excited to see what happens. Uh, how about you, Judd? Yeah. Hey, I'm Judd. He, him, and I am. <laughs> There's that meme where uh, Gandalf is like, "I have no memory of this place," and uh, that is not quite how I feel looking at the notes. I'm like, I I need to write, but like I. I, I as as a GM, there are things that I do very well that that I I can improve a little bit and 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 work hard on and you know, uh, get but, the heavy punching bag. Yeah, bag. maybe like get a little bit better before I perish. But like, it won't take much for me to get better at writing better notes that mm -hmm. have some kind of organization. I just have not figured out that cataloging system. If someone has one, put it put it in a you know wherever, however you're listening to this. For goodness' sake, leave a comment, write an email, whatever it is. Send a send a raven. I just don't care. Yeah. Uh, if you have a good note taking system, I will I will listen. I because I just I, I don't have it. I feel like for adventures, you need a combination of a serial or a linear kind of blog that tells the storyline. Right. And a non-linear tracking of locations, NPCs. You kind of need a wiki for the uh, setting elements, and you need a chronology for the um, for the uh, you know what what's happened last. Yeah. Um, Jay used the now method. To, uh, I don't. I'm not familiar with Ron Ron's now method. I'm gonna check it out. Yeah, uh, I'll have to check that out too. Uh, yeah, I've been I've been enjoying. There have been a couple of people on in in the uh in the gaming slack that i frequent who have been giving like actual play uh you know reports through bullet points mm -hmm. and yeah i like that i like that a lot and and I, I think i need to think about that uh i don't know about for these games but for something yeah yeah um, My current method yeah. is I have a giant notepad doc. That is, that's how sophisticated I am because it allows me to just scroll whatever and it doesn't tell me when I've misspelled something, which I do all right. the time. And I really don't want to be bothered by when I am playing a game and I'm just trying to like write a name down or something like that. And I, I don't, I don't want to know all my heinous misspellings. Right. Right. <laughs> Fix them later. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm I'm looking at it. Like I've got Sir, I've got I've got Persea, who, uh -huh. who's who's Nestor's niece and the head of the, you know the 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 ship's rebellion. Um, yeah, there was Loxo. Her... Yeah, there there was there was Loxo, who I feel like was the chief of security, and was also someone who you through a role you found out was kind of like the weak link. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and, and some stuff developed with Loxo. Um, I tried to convince Lo I convinced Loxo to look up the records that show that Paris had tampered with the right. the comms because it was on this very ship, the storm surge that that the duel happened. 
And Shit. so he was able to look up the comms. And so the next time I saw Loxo, it was because Cadmus uh, brought me to the airlock where uh, I thought it was Persia. Is it? What, 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 did I get do I uh, her name? I, yeah, I, I had it like almost uh, a, uh, you know, a, a poorly changed version of Perseus. So Persea. Oh, Persea. Got it. Yeah. yeah. Um, uh, and Persea had Loxo in an airlock with a gut wound and uh, essentially wanted. Oh, sorry. Backing up a little bit. Previously, Persea tried to get um, Loxo to admit to me, to admit in front of her that he understood that I was fully responsible for uh, for Paris's death. Loxo's good friend. Um, right. And I could tell he was uncomfortable, and I interrupted saying, You're, you haven't cycled out the, uh, the thrusters. You've got to, you know, you're going to burn them out. And yeah, I basically yeah. like diverted by get, giving him some times he didn't have to commit and then later convinced him to go look at the records. Next, we find Loxo and Airlock, laser blaster bolt wound at the gut. And uh, she, uh, Persea was going, to, was going to Airlock him, but I had a knife that I'd gotten from the, uh, the ME that worked on my good friend, Megara. Right. And I pulled it on Cadmus who was uh, not expecting it. And Cadmus yes. is uh, per se someone, lover. Per se, yeah, per se lover. So we had a little standoff and eventually the, uh, the ship doctor um, came and took him and put him in critical care along with Nestor. Aridas, yeah. Aridas, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. there's Aridas, critical care. Okay, <laughs> yep, yep. It's coming back. It's coming back. Okay, all right, cool. Awesome. Awesome. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, so that was all for your benefit audience. That was just a catch. Yeah. You that up. was not so for me. Know. That was definitely not for Judd. I, I clearly know exactly what's going on. I'm running the game. How dare you even intimate such a thing? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> no one would think of it. No, no, of course Fools not. they would be. Fools they would be. So mm -hmm. I think, I think the sitch is that I'm back. I'm locked back up. I assume that that knife has probably been taken away from me. Yeah. Um, Cadmus has a big old ugly cut on his neck. I did not cause horrible damage, but I, I left him with something that would leave a scar. Uh, Aridas has Loxo, and I am with uh, Hermion, uh, Fialo, and Megara. I think yeah. those are the four of us that are locked up together in, in like a makeshift uh, brig. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just a quarters, but their quarters and the doors locked, and they've sort of disabled most of you know, they've disabled comms and things like that so we can't we can't call for help cool um yeah i know and um i don't know did you have an idea for the the kickoff i i think i'm going to try and conspire with my my fellow captives about breaking out but um i don't know if anything anything has gone on anything's interrupting us from our commiserate. um so i think The yeah, I, I I think we can totally conspire. I think the the wrinkle in it is that you you've heard the ship make hard dock with something or someone, mm. and you're not sure who. Um, you know that there were Dukes en route to Ithaca Station. But, you know, you, you don't know who they've been communicating with on the ship or, or who, you know, who they might have met up with. Uh, right. That. Uh, I think not Dukes. I th well, d maybe Dukes. Dukes or yeah. with the Leviathan themselves rather than the. Right, the right, right. Okay. So. Yeah, it was, it was, it was, it was Dukes coming to the station to sign the peace treaty for the war. And, yeah. and so, like, you know that those folks would have been in this kind of area. Right. Um, you know, that, that that's established in the, you know, in through through the game. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah, they, they all are kind of, you know, looking at you at, you know, they, they're definitely still looking to you to lead. 
Yeah. Uh, and and are you know a little wide eyed at being uh, mute meat. Right. Right. Uh, and I think um, based on the last time I was taken to per se as off, uh, you know, to 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 her quarters, and the last time I was taken to the helm. Uh, I think it, we're still a ways away from Ithaca. So, you know, it's not like we could be home docking. Right. No, no, definitely not. Yeah. Definitely not. Uh, yeah. I think, you know, maybe we're, there's a shot and we kind of have our heads together and we hear that, you know, a, yeah. a contact with, with another ship and we feel the, uh, the, 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 the ship rock a bit. Um, are any of my folks, I mean, I, I fought with these people. I think I know them well, but we haven't fleshed them out too much in play. Or do I know if any of them are uh, particularly technically savvy? Um, you know that that's never been uh, that's never been uh, established. Alexi's uh, strong point, yeah, but it hasn't been established if any of them are sort of knowledgeable in that way. Right. Um, what have we got? Is that Hermeon, Fialo, and Megera? Is that yeah, yeah? Okay. Um. In the brig, and I mean, I could determine this like a leadership role if you think that that makes sense. Um, yeah, uh, yeah. I almost kind of want like a Rita Sitch. Is that going to work? Does that fit? To know the capabilities of my of my of the folks I'm working with, or to like know what's going on with. The uh, I think to, to, to know the capabilities. Um, I think let's make a leadership role. Yeah. Um, let's just make like a straight leadership role, and we'll kind of half bake a move. Yeah, yeah. When you as we go. Yeah. When you look, I feel like this is kind of like the. Um, I think this is a little bit like the choppers move when you like uh, when you turn to your your crew and you like ask them to produce something for you. Yeah. But in this case, it's when you assess your those under your command and find if they're up to a task. I yeah. feel like this. Yeah. So totally. cool. I'll roll leadership. All right. I'll take a mixed result. I think, I think my leadership is plus one. Yeah. Cool. So. And what I'm looking for specifically, just, just so that I'm not dumb, yeah. around the bullet, is I'm looking for someone who could, like, we could pry open a panel in here and we could get back reconnected to the ship's comm so we could see who the, so we could figure out who the heck they're meeting with, you know, so we could activate a camera or, or open up a mic that's in the ship that I think, you know, has been disabled for obvious reasons, but I imagine the circuitry is still, you know. Right. Uh, and, I, and, I, and I think with that kind of role, um, oof, damn. Uh, so with that kind of role, uh, it's, it's, you know, they, someone has the capabilities, but they're largely untested. And then I rolled kind of a follow-up to see how they did. Oh yeah. And I rolled a, I rolled a three. Yeah. So good. Yeah. I think they get, you know, I, I, I think they set off an alarm. Uh, and 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 uh, Loxo, you know, comes in and sees Fialo. I don't think Loxo know. comes in. Loxo's got switch side and got shot and was put. Oh wow! Yeah, there. Loxo got shot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm yeah. sorry. No, no. Uh, yeah, so someone new would come. Actually, uh, so it I think the interesting again, or, or... I th no, I think the interesting thing that you learn is that. Uh, you know, the alarm goes off and rather than send someone in, they just kind of shut off the, the grid for that room. Um, and I think the air starts getting cold and the gravity control goes and things start floating around. Nice. And, and, and I, I think on one hand, it, it shows that, that they're willing to think outside the box and not make the same mistake over and over again. But on the other hand, I think it shows that they're a little desperate. Um, yeah, it and, feels like they're and, busy. Like, like they can't even spare yeah. a person to come down here. Yeah, like, oh, fuck it. Just turn it off so they can't get in. So they don't know what's going on. Right. Yeah, I, I think it shows a little bit of desperation. Yeah. 
a little bit of desperation. And I think at, at, at times there was someone standing outside my door, but I think that like, I think that was Loxo and I, it seemed, my yeah. guess is they haven't replaced him, right? Like they just locked the door and said, you know, stay in there and right. stay out of trouble. Yeah. Right. Right. Um, um, cool. Who, yeah, who was think, it? It was, uh, you said it was, uh, uh Fialo. 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 Okay. Fialo, untested technician. now but um so i i think i looked at fialo when the alarm goes off and i'm like immediately kind of getting ready for someone to come in and i i take a sort of defensive stance in front of him to let, so allow him to keep working and then when we realize like when we when we i think we probably know it's the gravity first right like oh when we start, start floating in the thing and uh I'm like this the you know and i kind of try to reassure him like you know there's probably nothing he could have done uh, I, 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 my guess is the systems, as soon as we, as soon as we started tampering, they noticed. Um, and I say, well, the one good thing about them, not, um, if they cut off all power to this grid, that means they don't know whether that door is open or not. They're, 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 they're not going to be able to, the sensors are not going to be able to work. Uh, so I'm sure it's still mag, it's still mag sealed, but, uh, um, let's get that thing open. Right. Um, yeah. And I guess, uh, you know, I feel like, pulling a little bit from Star Trek, there's, there's always some like manual releases and, and you, you pull off a panel and you turn a thing and then you got to like, and then it like unlocks the door, but you got to like heave really hard to actually get it open. I don't know. Yeah. Does this, does this sound, does this sound right to you? Should yeah. I, I, I think like everyone starts getting the same idea at once and they, they start to, uh, they start to mess around with the, the manual release on the door. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, do you want to lead that effort? Yeah, that sounds good. That sounds good. Cool. I think it's going to be like, uh, okay, Fialo, still, still the technician. Like you, you pull the release, and uh, uh, Hamrayon and uh, Magaron and I will, will, will like really, you know, everyone will put their their shoulder into actually, actually breaking the seal. Um, yeah, and uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's another leadership role. Sound good? Yeah, that sounds that sounds right. I feel like this is kind of an act under fire type. Yep, situation. totally act under. It's a this is classic act under fire. Yep. Yep. Nines all around. Okay. Uh, what does that mean for Act Under Fire? It means like you success with a with a cause. It's usually, it's usually um, you you flinch, hesitate, or or uh, something. Um, you can do it. The the MC will offer you a hard choice, uh, a worse result, or a. Um, uh, I think that's that's there, there's one other thing. Thing, but I think that's the gist of it. Usually, it's kind of a shittier version or a version that um, has a you know a hard a cost associated. Yeah. Hmm. That's interesting. Okay. Uh, I mean, we might make a lot of noise doing it and draw their attention, or or um, by the time we've done it, you know, auctions run out and someone's unconscious. I don't know. I don't know how quickly the auction, but yeah. Cool. So I think um, at some point during the process, uh, you hear you hear whatever you, the whatever ship you had docked with release, and yeah, Alexi curses. He definitely he definitely and, wanted to find out who that was. Yeah. And then as you are opening the door, um, the ship is abandoned and, you know, in the view screen is, is the eye of the Leviathan as the ship is kind of hurtling towards, towards the, the gas giant. Um, and and they basically left you, you know, being in a in a in a hard pull. Uh, oh dang! To look oh, like so an accident. The yeah. Storm surge is getting pulled into the Leviathan, and they the took ship. off on the other ship. Oh damn! Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah, and I think you know it's just 
you know, the the and I and I, I think what you realize is that we were all wrong about uh, myself included. Uh, I like when you find out th new, new things. Uh, we, it wasn't that they shut off your area. They shut off the ship. Yeah. And then like gave you a, a, a tug or, or, or it gave you a, uh, or, or had the, the ships or had the engines fire one more time or, or whatever. Right. And uh, I think, you know, once again, these, these young knights look to you. Uh, oh. yeah, that's, that's, uh, that's all terrifying. Uh, yeah. So I think as we get out, like, like, uh, uh Alexi, who's always who's been this person for a long time, that had been like, I don't want to fight. I'm not going to carry a gun. I'm not going to carry a sword. I'm you know, trying not to fight. And he comes out. And he's like, you know, got his like hands up. Like, what's going on? Like, he's just assuming that someone, Cadmus or somebody's going to come running down the hall with a laser. Yeah. Bolt, you know? And then when he realize, when he sees this and he looks out, I think his eyes go wide, and he goes, "We need to get to the helm, and now we need to get the uh, engines fired up." And uh, um, yeah, I, I, I think it's just sort of a. a, a you know, a dash to try and, uh, you know, uh, this is, this is the, this is the opportunity for, um, for, uh, Fialo to, uh, you know, prove himself again, which is, you know, can you get the engines fired while I'm, I'm at the helm? Uh, because, yeah. because, uh, Alexi is a capable pilot, but you know, you need your engineer. And I, I definitely want to know what they did with the people who were in the infirmary. Like, did right. they take Nestor and Loxo? Did they, but I don't know if I have time. I don't know if that's something you know I can spot on the way. Yeah, um, I think I think they took Nestor and I think they left Loxo for dead with you. Wow. Um, interestingly enough, and I'm not interested in like another role for, uh, you know, to to see if. Fialo can, 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 can turn it on. Like I'm more interested in like a, a, a role for with, with, with your character. And we'll kind of like, you know, we assume that it all is, is, is tumbled in together. Yeah. Yeah. Um, absolutely. Rather than have like one role with Fialo and then one role with you. And like, I just feel like there's not, it's not like double the interesting results. Right. No, it's no. yeah. Okay. There's not necessarily a pair of interesting results. And if there's complications, I'm fine with them being on any end of them. Yeah. So I feel like there's like three things that need to happen all in very quick order. Fiala yeah. needs to get the power back on. Someone needs to go to Loxo and make sure, uh, uh, uh Hermeon needs to go to Loxo and make sure that he is not just dying due to lack of, uh, you know, due to the, the, power going off you know just just, just triage yeah uh, and then and, and i've got to get and me and mcgaron need to get the ship uh, uh you know need to engage thrusters uh i think it's time to launch the plasma sails we haven't uh, seen them yeah. we yeah, need yeah. all the power we can get yeah. this is when the giant well the plan is that the giant beautiful sails unfurl and we see them collect all these celestial matter to give it that little bit of oomph that we need to escape yep. the ground. Yep. Well. I, so. I agree entirely. I was just looking at your original description of the storm surge, a Mark four terrestrial class planet skipper designed both for both opulence and redundancy full of fail safes. The surge can go for a month without docking in port, even longer if the nebula sails are used to gather star matter. So, Hell yeah. I think the, the, the sails need to get released. And I think those are like almost age of sail cranks, right? That, right. that, 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 that crank out and, and, and release over, uh, you know, a huge amount of, 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 of space. And, uh, well, especially if we don't have the power on, I can absolutely imagine me and um, Miguel on each on, on one side, like literally pulling, you know, turn, turning the cranks. Yeah. To, uh, unfurl them, you know? Yeah. And, and, and I think that's something that's supposed to be done by a team of people. Yeah. Uh, and, and here you are, uh, you know, getting in uh, a really terrible CrossFit workout and <laughs> yeah, let's. It's Let's do it. Like Marjorie Green. Yeah, All yeah. Right. Uh, um, some, someone's gonna vomit. Uh, yeah. let, let's, yeah. Let's make a roll. I think make that leadership roll. I think we are, uh, we are, you know, uh, once again, kind of uh, under fire. Yeah. Yeah. Oh no's, that's bad. Oh, I, no. figured, I figured the luck would fail at some point. 
Yeah. Uh, nice. Yeah. Um, wow. Yeah. One of the, one of the, I think you have to put the, you, you don't have time to put the sales out cautiously. Yeah. So, uh, so the ship, you know, the, the, one of the sales tears. Yep. And They're so delicate. the other, yeah. And so the other, the other sale picks up too much matter and it starts to put the ship into a spin. Um, I think the ship is, is damaged to the point where it, it, it needs to get to port before you could really do anything, uh, yeah. you know, of, of value in it. And, uh, you know, I, I, it, yeah. And you're, you're, I feel like we're out of control at in. this point. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so this was a leadership role with the idea that we're all going to work together as this team. And I think, you know, we all did our best, but it still wasn't enough. The, the, we, you know, we, like you said, we could, we didn't get the ship out. We didn't get the sales let out evenly. And so right. know, one of them, one of them tore, um, so I, I want, you know, I, I imagine we're, we're, we're spinning and we're still getting sucked in. Um, I want to run to, the, but we did get one sale out. It was collecting some matter. I imagine right. Fiala started the engine up. So I, I, I'm envisioning this, I'm running down the hall, like smashing into like the hall because the ship is spinning and gravity yeah. is weird. And I want to run down the hall, get to the, you know, get to the helm itself. And, uh, and cause there's no one else there and blast out of here. Uh, I want to try and pilot our way out of this thing before we, okay. all, we get sucked in. Is that possible? Yeah, yeah. I think I think it's a I mean, last the ship ditch. Is trashed. Yeah, yeah. It's a last ditch, desperate effort. Yeah, but uh, absolutely, oh, I, I I do think I do think it's possible. Um, and and I think the the you know the consequences of that last failure really I took out on the ship. Yeah. So if we were using, you know, the row kind of robust, uh, uh, vehicle rules in, in apocalypse world, uh, we would see a lot of damage to the ship. Absolutely. And, and, and I don't, I don't think the damage has spilled in to the crew yet, but it's, it's getting there. Right. Right. We can have hull breaches, uh, depending on how this next one goes. Yeah. Uh, all right. Well, I'm rolling jack of all trades. That is the closest thing I've got to piloting. Um, and, uh, you know, I've seen it. I've tried it. I've definitely flown this ship before. I've definitely not flown this ship while trying to escape a gravity well with one, tor one torn sail and uh, and spinning out of control. So, yeah, uh, let's see how that goes. Yes. Finally. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Uh, I tell me what you see. I'll, I'll tell you what I see. Uh, I imagine, you know, you pulling it up so that you're kind of skirting in, the, you know, you're no longer going in, but you're like skirting on the, you know, I don't know anything about physics or, 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 but you're, 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 yeah, you're, you're skirting on the orbit of the Leviathan. So instead of the, you're just getting the pull, you're actually like, you know, going quite fast now because right. you're going, you're going around the orbit of this, of this monster, uh, you know, maybe closer than you normally would, right. uh, to be safe. And we're, we're building up some centrifugal force by spinning right. around it. Yeah, yeah. Right. Um, in, in Star Trek terms, you might start going back in time soon. Uh, <laughs> but <laughs> we'll see how that goes. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I, I, um, I think the ship is going faster than, uh, than you've ever seen it go. Yeah. Um, and I think, uh, the one sail is kind of fluttering behind it. Um, and, and, you know, because of the your success in that role, I think one of the crew members is like pulling that in so that it isn't, uh, tearing further, just, just tearing further or, or, or whipping around and causing the ship more damage. Yeah. And yeah, that, that is where we're at is, is the nice. ship going, you know, dangerously fast. Yeah. Yeah. You I know? imagine we're going to keep building up speed. And what I want to do is rip out of orbit. Once we've built up enough speed to break the orbit, you know, the idea is that we're going to have to do a hard pull and that will probably cause strain on structural integrity of the ship. Uh, but otherwise we're just going to keep, 
going faster and faster, spinning around this thing. We, you know, we've right. got to, we've got to break it. Uh, and, and further, I want to jettison towards wherever that ship was. I don't know if it's, you know, gone. Do we have sensors? Can I tell if the ship is, uh, you know, even still around or is it just gone? I don't we, think, I think everything was off. Like, I think you were just turning on things you needed immediately. Yeah. Yeah. Good point. Also, I think we know that, uh, well, we definitely know that this, the, 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 the comm systems can be tampered with because that's happened right. before. But right. um, I think we know that sensors are sort of weak around the Leviathan anyway. So, yeah, that's fine. If we can catch them, that's great. If we can stay alive. Um, even better. Even, yeah, that'd be nice too. <laughs> so, yeah. So, uh, I think I want to read a sitch. I want to kind of figure out when is the possible time that I could... Awesome. Perfect. You know, like we're spinning around here so fast and it's like, like, is Loxo okay? Did, or can we, can we build up a safe escape vector? You know, like I'm just trying to take everything, take everything in right now. Yeah. I'm uh, taking it. And I think I'm going to roll leadership again, because I think the way I'm going to get the information is by asking everybody to tell me status, you know? Yeah. Like yeah, as yeah, captain, yeah. Uh, I, I can't go check those things myself. Um, yeah, I gotta, I gotta. And these are, these are, you know, these are void Marines. These are, these are not people who, who should be piloting a damn ship. Right. Um, I, I think we have not seen these people in these roles. Um, they're clearly in over their head and yeah, I'm just throwing that all that out there that, that, yeah, this is, this is not, these are not people are not operating in their specialties. You know, the, the, these are folks who, who cling to the outside of hulls and, uh, and, you know, and, and break into ships. Um, so it means they know a little bit about how ships work, but that there, there's another thing about, you know, pulling a ship uh, into and out of orbit. That's, that's right. uh, kind of a different beast. So awesome. Let's, uh, yeah, let's, let's, let's read a sitch. Let's see what happens. There we go. Um. <laughs> yeah, uh, okay. Well, there are uh, 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 every every result in uh, in uh, uh, on Rita Sitch, I think is an interesting one. So so yeah. Yeah. So uh, awesome. And this again, this is me calling out. Like I imagine. Uh, I imagine uh, uh, Miguelan, uh, like uh, on the whole, maybe inner power armor pulling in the sail. Uh, you know, you know, Fialo in the engine room trying to get in the engineering trying to get everything started, and this is all over comms trying to you know coordinate with them. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think. you're trying to figure out what the hell is going on and uh, one of the crew members, let's just name them because there aren't many of them left. Uh, her man says, I'm, I'm getting some kind of a communications. I think And, like, and he kind of looks to you to like say, you know, plug it through or, or whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, I say, um, I'm like, and, well, and, and any, I think, any help I think, would be accepted right now, you know, right, like, right, on right. screen. Yeah. Right. And yeah, I think this kind of uh, vague, uh, this vague, uh, you know, hazy um, hologram pops up in the middle of the room mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, clearly, you know, clearly a space pirate and, and not one of your, you know, noble brethren who are usually in space. Right. And uh, he says, this is Captain Klaus Stortebecker. You yeah. are going, you are going awfully fast. And I think like like your station and maybe even like the whole duchy is named after, 
you know, famous Homeric people. Um, I'm going to pull pirate names from, you know, famous, famous Wikipedia pirates. Nice. Uh, so I, I, I scrolled down and uh, Klaus was the first one I got to. I'm sure we'll get to other good ones later. Nice. Yeah. Klaus, Klaus Studebaker is a, is a good name. Yeah. Um, uh, you know, I think I am, I think we're all feverishly trying to get control and, and, and trying to, uh, uh, it, you know, I think that the scene is sparks flying and things and, and things falling, you know, da- damage and damage being taken. And, uh, I say, um, captain, if you'd have any ability to help us escape this, this orbit, um, is like, he's like, is he like recognizable as a pirate? Oh, totally. Like, I, yeah. I think you, you know exactly who he is. I think the the war your parents fought um, mm-hmm. was the pirate war. Uh, I'm nice. pretty sure we've established that. So, yeah, yeah. So I tell yeah, them, this, they're, they're out there, right? I yeah. say, th- this is a class four planet hopper. I'm sure it's got, it's got, uh, it's still got uh, plenty of useful, uh, uh, plenty of useful componentry. And with a little bit of spit and polish, it could be a, damn fine ship again but it's not going to be anything if we don't escape this vector um if you if you have eyes on this prize uh maybe you would like to help us uh escape it you know and like i feel like it's that like everything's going so fast that yeah you know, things are starting to like rattle and uh i say uh, yeah maybe you'd like to help us uh exit this uh exit this orbit yeah he says uh Our salvage line will be attaching to your ship momentarily. And, and like, you know, like a salvage line is, is, you know, a type of tow hook that you put onto a ship that's, that's dead in space. And, yeah, and right. uh, I, I think it, it, it attaches it, you know, you, you, you uh, feel another, uh, you know, metallic noise as it hits the hull and and attaches and maybe even more than you know uh with a little bit of 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 bite and screech as it kind of punctures uh and then uh yeah you know it 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 doesn't you know break the hull so that you know there you know you 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 lose that you you lose atmospherics but uh it sounds ugly and and well, it, even under the best circumstances, even if it wasn't going to do that normally, I can't imagine unless he's matching speed with me, unless he's also doing the same exact trajectory as I am, there's going to be a horrible rending between when he taps a, a, a cable from his ship to our ship as we keep trying to go really fast and he's trying right. to pull us out. So yeah, I right. mean, imagine it's straining the cables on both ends. Yeah. yeah. The noises are really bad. I can totally see bits of the hull crumpling and... Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. And and yeah, I think they they slow you down, and uh, and uh, the rest of the crew hauls in the hauls in the 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 remaining nebula cell, and uh, you you feel the you you didn't even realize I think how much how many G's were were, were pushing on you. Um, I don't think we're full expanse, you know, going for realism and G's or anything where we're in a crash couch or anything or getting drugs. But th- there was some kind of a a a a, a, a feeling uh, of, yeah. of, hi- of of high G's going, and and yeah, it it the the ship slows down to a manageable pace. It gets pulled a bit away from uh, the Leviathan, and I think like even gets towed out beyond the moons a bit kind of into the void a, a ways um, where these mm-hmm. folks tend to operate. And, and that is where, you know, beyond the, your ability to put out uh, a, uh, an SOS an SOS. And, yeah. and I think, you know, you, you can, you, you can hear them, uh, you know, crawling on the hull and and their magnetic boots. Uh, you 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 know what the noise is because you're usually the people on the outside, and yeah. uh, you know you you hear them, uh, you know do the space equivalent of of knock on an airlock door, 
and mm -hmm. you know politely ask for permission to come aboard yeah do i know of i mean there there's a real there's a real practical way to steal ships which is to poke holes in them let the air fall out wait for everyone to die of asphyxiation inside and then come in without any resistance of course um um it it you know it might damage the ship people might have their own air you know their own uh suits and whatnot but it's it's still a practical a still a practical approach do i know if uh klaus's reputation if 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 his mo is to kill everybody on board or uh and take taking the ships um what he's done in the past no i i think what you know of piracy is that they don't really want to kill nobles they want to ransom them yeah. Uh, like the the people aboard this ship are probably worth more than the ship. Yeah. Um, and if you all can be taken alive, you're 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 worth a fortune. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. I think the rest. I mean, I think if that isn't clear to everybody, um, m maybe they haven't been on the receiving end of this but i think i think i kind of give like a knowing nod of like we're probably going to go right back to captivity again um you know that there's it there's little chance that we're gonna come out of this um with our freedom uh but at least we'll have our lives so i think before you know before we let him in i just want to check quickly on loxo and see like is he conscious is he okay you know is he stable yeah yeah um yeah uh loxo stable he's okay. he's alive he's alive yeah and I think, and yeah i think i just say like you know over his like as i'm looking at his charts i'm like you because i alexi feels a lot of guilt for dragging loxo into this i mean of course Loxo mutinied, but also like Alexi got him to second guess um, Parisia, and that's why he's you know on a ship attacked, you know, taken by pirates. It's all beat up yeah. and with a with a blast bolt in his, in his gut. Uh, yeah, so I think uh, you know we we open the we 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 pressurize the hatch. You know, we do the do the thing sort of safely. Um, I think it's, you know, like there's a, a the airlock where there's two things. We open up the exterior lock. Right. Exterior door. Right. And, and yeah, I think they, they come in, in their, you know, I think their armor is a little bit more, you know, is, is less like a Warhammer 40 K Marine like yours was, uh, yeah. and more like blue collar aliens, uh, you know, blue, the, that vibe that, that that Ripley armor, uh, and uh, probably armor that you all dismissively think of as like construction worker armor, right? Yeah, uh, yeah. And and not something you would wear while trying to fight to get on board a ship. And uh, you know, yeah, I think Klaus uh, takes his takes his helmet off and says, uh, I'd love to hear the story of how you ended up there. Shall we sit in the captain's quarters and be comfortable and have a drink and talk it over? I think um, Alexi still has a certain amount of urgency, a certain amount of hope to be able to find Parisia and know what the hell she's up to. But I, I, I feel like she's like, I think he like looks out a hatch and it's just like, she's way the fuck gone at this point. Like we've been, she went off one way, we got pulled in there and then we got towed away. Is it fair to say that like, I don't want to be like, what you need to do is go chase down another ship and then you can claim right. them too, because it right. feels to me like that's just not even possible. Um, so yeah, is that, does that sound right to you, Judd, that, that she's, she's pretty much long gone at this point? That that sounds right. I think talking Klaus into chasing another ship seems like a long shot to me. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, it doesn't even seem plausible. So yeah. I, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. Good, good, good. Yeah, we're yeah. we're we're of the same mind. I I, I yeah, dig yeah. it. Um, yeah. 
that that seems on the on the far end of uh, of what you can talk someone into. Yeah, we we are okay. we are in agreement. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so um, I uh, I want to say that I don't know. Do, do do I think that my crew? You know, these these are soldiers. These are people you know, used to doing stuff. I, I feel like the responsible thing to do would be asking one of them to hide so that they could, you know, possibly break us out later, you know, depending on how extensively they're going to, they're going to, uh, uh, search the ship. I think Fialo is hiding in engineering and Miguel and Hermeron Her- Her- and I are, oh, cool. are, are going with him. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I don't know, you know, I don't know if he's going to be able to break us out or not, but I, I think that's the, uh, that's the plan. And so I tell the captain, I'm like, uh, anything to go ahead away from that, from that gas giant. Uh, I, I've got quite a story to tell you. You probably won't even believe it except for you saw it. So yeah, let, let's, um, you know. A breaking fast together would be appreciated and, and i go willingly like i'm not we don't have any weapons anyway but i'm not like yeah i'm not putting up any kind of fight cool yeah and i think he uh kind of politely like you know walks into the captain's quarters and like lets you lead you know the pouring of the drinks and the and and the you know as if you're still in charge of the ship which you right. kind of aren't and and you know didn't put, didn't take off his, his, his zero G gear. Didn't put it in a storage locker. Like didn't do any of the things that I think we've seen the other characters when they come out of zero G do right. Like it, it's right. Uh, you know, he, he's just walking around in this shit and that's just not how we've seen you and your, your uh, other knights operate. Yeah, I don't think we're ca- comfortable in, in 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 space armor. Uh, not in a casual kind of way. You wear it for a fight. You wear it for a thing, and then and then you kind of immediately peel it off you. And it seems like right. he's more like to him. This is more like a second skin, and that he is just used to the yeah. clunkiness and the awkwardness of it. And, and, yeah. Um, yeah. So yeah, I absolutely absolutely um, you know uh, pour him the uh, let's see what what's what some of our moons. Um, uh, I accidentally pour him the, uh, the, the Doha, you know, uh, you know, 15 year, um, uh, space whiskey and, um, and, you know, I kind of smirk at the fact that, um, last time I tried this, it was with someone who was, you know, supposedly, uh, civilized and they shot me and this guy is a pirate, but is acting with a lot more, you know, uh, uh, compassion or humanity then love it uh, yeah 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 and i and i think it. and I, I think he says you know uh doha i i hear they make this with real barrels yeah they have them uh they ha- they 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 uh um that they, they they still find way to um uh they, they still find way to um uh, to grow fibrous something close close to a tree in their in their in their agropods and um and uh real you you can you can smell it you know you can you can t- you can feel the, the 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 barrel uh aging in there and yeah huh i um i i pour it and uh and i i i think i tell him the short version of you know um essentially i, I give him the um my ship was mutinied and uh and uh, we were left to uh, plummet into a plummet into a uh, into Leviathan. They probably they wanted it to look like we like an accident. So um, I don't think anyone's looking for me. That is a that's quite a thing to admit to someone like me. You'd find out by looking at the ship's computers anyway. I do have a wounded man. I want to make sure that he's taken care of. From your reputation, it doesn't sound like you're the type of person to, uh, you'd rather keep us alive and make, make some money off of our, our selling us back than you would. I would. I would, unless you're doing something really stupid. Unless. 
Oh, I've been doing some stupid things for a while now. What did you have in mind? Uh, I don't know. Hiding one crew member somewhere, hoping that they'll do something heroic. That would I mean, erode that would be... our trust. Well, if I hid somebody, that would be before we met. And wouldn't you think it a practical measure to take? But not knowing what you're now that be, you know kind of now, you're that, be. now that you know that we're simpatico and I love beverages that are brewed in real barrels. Now that you know these things, you might get on the comms and call them out if they even exist. And if not, forgive me. Let's enjoy it. Let's enjoy this drink. Not let any nonsense about heroism ruin it. Nice. Um, I I would like to try and manipulate or charm someone. I want yeah. to offer up that the I want to offer up that theoretically, if there was a person and I was a person, you know, and we were both we were all people of good character, I would definitely call them off. Like I don't want to admit that 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 Fialo is out is out there yet. Yeah. But I do want to get a little bit of leverage on this, which is at least to find out like um uh what he's planning for us. Like like Yeah. It Yeah, and I say I say I think it I think I think, you know, if someone such like that existed, uh they'd want to know that if they were surrendering their if they were coming out of height, if they were they were surrendering that they weren't just going to get locked up and um, and uh, that, that there may be some room to discuss possibilities um, that don't involve, you know, putting us all on a brig. Um, so I'm sort of like waving this around. Yeah. Like, yeah. Um, yeah. As a thing. Um, to try and try and get a little bit more leeway with them. Make a roll. Yeah. Let's see what happens. I think I'm I, using. I, yeah. Liaison. Cool. <laughs> yeah. You are liaising with the pirate. Love it. Yeah. All right, I got a middling result. I don't want you to languish in a brig. I want you to train my crew. Someone with void experience like yours, you're like a you're like a chest of gold buried in the sand under an X. Coming from a station that has the most leal training regiment in all of the orbits we do we do sorry that's just sean looking at our uh looking at our uh looking at judd looking at our our uh our, our station yeah i think i think there are far better ways for you to spend your time than in a brig especially when i show you who we're going to be stealing from i promise you'll like it Um, and I think I, uh, I, I look at him like, how, like, how does he know who I am? But then I realize like, I'm a, a marquee, you know, I mean, I, yeah. I don't, I know him by reputation. He might know a lot more about me. Yeah. Um, and yeah. And then I get on the comms and I say, um, Fialo, I think the engine repairs, I think the engine, I think, uh, engine repairs are probably adequate for now. I'm sure, I'm sure the, the core is stable. Why don't you come join us in the court in my quarters? Yeah. Sounds it's all good. this dumb pretense of pretending like he wasn't hiding and you know. Right, right. Um Yeah. So I want to I mean if if there's more that will happen um immediately, I'm happy to keep playing that through, but I want to find out what um what Fiala's plan was, and I think Loxo probably knows. Right. Um, is it? Is he in a position where he might come to shortly? Me. Uh, not bad. Loxo, not. I don't think not anytime soon. But what exactly did you want to know about the Ox, about Loxo? I'm sorry. I wanted to know what Fiala's plan was because he worked for her. He was meeting oh, with her. Right. He's the only one who knows what's going on. I don't know what she's up to. I don't know whether my brother's in danger. And I want to be able to send a signal at least to warn him. If, uh, But, I mean, again, I don't know what I'm warning him of. And um, 
you know, if she met with the Duke, I, yeah. So, um, can I, can I, I think, I think, I mean, you know, in this sort of maybe horrific 24 esque moment where Jack Bauer is always like, everything is urgent, you know, you right, right, right. Like putting horrible things in people. I'm like, do you have medical crew that could help, uh, help revive, um, my, uh, my soldier. I just, I just yeah. need to talk to him for a moment. Yeah. Yeah. And I think like, can we say that you like explained what the hell just happened to him? Like that you like, you know, the, we kind of catch the tail end of Alexi explaining the past few hours or a few days actually. And to, to Loxo or to, to the, to, to Klaus. To Klaus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. I, I kind of gave you like the short version, but I, yeah, I'm not going to. Cool, cool, cool. I'm not going to tell them all my family shit, but like right. yeah, everything that's happened on, on this ship, I'm happy. Yeah. To. And then you're like, hey, I need to know that my, my family's okay. I need to speak to Loxo. He was on the other side. And yeah. he said, that is too complicated to make up. Let's revive Loxo. And and I think there are some doctors working on Loxo. You know, they're they're it's hard to tell people apart. I think one thing about your world versus their world is your world is very, uh, you know, people look like what they look like. And in this, yeah. they're kind of, you know, cobbling together whatever they have. Um, I think every once in a while, you'll see like a helmet that's like, oh shit, that's a knight's helmet. And it's yeah. on a totally different chassis. Like they've, they've put a different, you know, locking mechanism on and, and uh, or like you'll see a gauntlet or or a, a shoulder piece and 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 yeah they they're really pulling pieces together and and using whatever they can find and uh uh yeah loxo you know wakes up and and uh and says you know the first thing i think he says is she left me here to die with you Well, I think she expected both of us to die together. Maybe she thought that was poetic. We uh, narrowly escaped getting pulled into the into the Leviathan. Um, we narrowly escaped getting pulled in, uh, thanks to our uh, our new host. And I kind of gesture to the to the to the crew that's working around that's working around him. The. Nestor was trying to lead the knights and the station council to offer up a vote of no confidence against your family's rule. It would be ratified by the Duke when he arrived. And after that, it would be a, you know, either duelists or lawyers fighting over the details. Did he already well, have what's that? Did Sorry. did he did he already have one of the dukes ready to sign off? Was he, did he, he already have a legion? Yeah, I, th I think I think he 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 had your duke. He had the Duke of Messina mm. ready to sign if if he had the right numbers, and he did. Uh, many of the duels were there to. were artificially created to, to, to kill people so that the numbers balanced out on in his favor. I think, um, I think, uh, Alexi and, and Klaus is definitely like, like in the room, yeah. kind of behind you, like leaning up against the door sill, listening to all this, right? Yeah. Just to, to give it all. And I'm fine with that. I'm not even, I'm not even, it's not even a, you know, yeah. uh, uh, like I'm not trying to hush all this, but I think Alexi is feeling like I spent, you know, 10 years at war trying to win back our home. And the yeah. moment we arrive, people are already trying to tear us apart from the inside. And the worst part about it is to know that the Duke was complicit in it and was basically right. making, basically giving the assurance. And like, I think, um, 
yeah, I think uh, he, you know, you sort of see his like white knuckle grasp of like the the rail around the the rail around the bed for of, of Loxo, um, and he like tries really hard not to you know lash out or anything like that, but he just gets really stiff and and frozen for a moment. Um, and I think for like the you know he's been trying to play pretty cavalier because he just didn't know what the hell people's motivations were, but he doesn't even care if if Klaus sees this. He's just like very angry and uh, and he kind of says to Loxo, but kind of just you know to himself as well. Like he, the Duke will pay for this this betrayal. We won a war for him, and now he's feeding us up to the highest bidder. Klaus says, votes of no confidence have happened over the years. This is a shame. But what will happen in the course of the trials and the lawyering is that they'll pay very close attention to what the numbers looked like after your brother was in interim deposement and what they were like before. So it would be a shame if Ithaca Station's barges were to very suddenly be hit by a rash of incredibly well-trained pirates. It would mean that when they look at the numbers and the charts and they go into court, it would mean that it looked like it was much, much safer when your family was in charge than when they weren't. And I know that this is a difficult time